Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. Title of today's video is Move Away From Windows Now. Now is one of the best times I've ever been to dump Windows and move over on to Linux. Which Linux? Well, that's entirely up to you. That's not for me to tell you what Linux to use. However, what I do want to make you aware of is the tightening up of Microsoft Windows policy. So, this is very, very interesting. Ancient PCs simply won't boot Windows 11 upcoming update. So, the 24H2 release of Microsoft Windows 11 um, requires as a minimum to boot a 7th gen Intel Core processor or a 2nd gen AMD Ryzen processor. Anything older than that won't boot. And it's great because YouTube at the minute is awash with videos from really good YouTubers such as Brightek Computers and a whole raft of other people saying that old computers won't work on a Windows 11 24H2. And most of these YouTubers' attitudes is the same as Microsoft. Well, if your computer is old, dump it and buy a new computer. But I don't know where some of these attitudes come from. Do these people not realise that the bulk of ordinary people are on the bones of their arse financially? Yes, of course, there's super wealthy people out there who could go spend two, three, four, five grand on a PC and not even bat an eyelid. Most ordinary people are struggling to pay rent or put fucking food on the table, right? So this is a big thing. This is a massive thing for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is Microsoft enforcing their belief that in order to get the best out of your operating system, you need newer hardware, capable hardware. And with Microsoft going down the AI route, you are going to need mega powerful hardware to do something simple like run an operating system. That's reason number one. Reason number two is also to enforce upon users future lockdowns, i.e. you won't be able to disable pop-ups, you won't be able to switch auto updates off, you will not be able, they will enforce their settings on you. <laughs> and if you don't like it, well, you can suck it right up with pleasure. Here's the other big kicker. Be very, very careful if you're currently on Windows 10 and you've got to, I believe it's 2025, till end of life of Windows 10. Then what do you do? <clears throat> so you could stay on Windows 10 now, do nothing, and then in 2025, worry about it then. Mm, it's a bit late then, isn't it? Just saying. Then it's a panic. Then it's a, oh, fuck, what do I do now? Where is if you make the jump now, by the time 2025 comes around, you'll already have forgotten that Windows even exists. You won't be one of those mega poor saps who's trapped on Windows. The other reason Microsoft are doing this is that take-up of Windows 11 is so piss-poor across the globe, it's embarrassing. Everybody's using Windows 10, and yet, I can remember when Windows 10 came out and everybody was complaining and saying it was crap, nobody would use it, and everybody was going to stay on 7. But eventually, you have no choice but to upgrade, because OS has become end of life. <clears throat> With Linux, no such issue. Now, the other thing is, you might have a older PC, like I've got here. Mine's from 2011, and it's highly debatable. I don't think the Core i5, uh, I think mine's a second-gen processor, so technically it won't boot Windows 11. Not that I'll put Windows 11 anywhere near this PC anyway, but if I did, chances are it won't work, it won't boot. I like this PC. It's doing absolutely everything I ask of it, and then some. It's fantastic. So why should I throw that away and have to buy new hardware just because Windows fucking 11 doesn't want to run on it? Because it sees the hardware of not being powerful enough to drive the operating system. How about this, Microsoft? Fuck off. Fuck right off with pleasure. 
So, I would heartily 100% recommend to avoid all the shenanigans that are coming up. And this is only the beginning from Microsoft. It's going to get a lot worse with forcing stuff on you, locking stuff down. You know, all your YouTube videos, oh, don't worry about pop-ups, this is how you disable it. In the future, you won't be able to do that because AI will prevent you from doing it. You know, Microsoft OSs are going to get a lot smarter and it's going to be Microsoft's favour, not your fucker. Trust me. So, whether you choose to go with my baby, MX Linux, or whether you go Linux Mint, or Ubuntu, or Zorin OS, or Elementary OS, the list is long and distinguished. You are spoiled for choice. My question to you in February of 2024 is why the fuck are you still on Windows? If it's a one-off specialist user case, i.e. I have to run Windows because I play Valorant and I only play Valorant, fine, I get it. My heart goes out to you because you are screwed. However, if like me you play a myriad of games, some older, some newer, I think you should find that in February of 2024 the majority of games via Steam and Proton run flawlessly on Linux and you don't have to do Fuck all to get them to work. It's a very Windows-esque experience. So my advice to you, internet land, is get the fuck off of Windows, get on Linux, and start and unleash the power of your PC. I mean, just imagine for a minute using something like this, MX Linux, and not being burdened and saddled with all them fucking background processes and God knows what, that Windows is dragging your current PC down. Be like a brand new PC. Stick Linux on, try it. Please post underneath this video if you need any help. Please post your comments and thoughts. Anybody in 2024 that's staying on Microsoft that's not a business or professional entity, for me personally, is absolutely off their fucking rocker. Please feel free to disagree with me. But don't just disagree with me and call me a schmuck. Tell me why. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.